Jews awfully thin these days. Oh, what do you expect? Farmers are abandoning their fields and traders their roots. Most of what we have now comes from here in the Idaway. I will not forget this kindness, my lord. I shall go to Eastport. But as soon as the rebuilding work is complete, I promise to return. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. nuts and all. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. What can I get you, Sid? Oh, you're not leaving already, what are do you? you? Recommend? about around for us little people. <laughs> Ash, you. I you Welcome back, Sid. As if setting our people free wasn't enough. Good news, everyone. The casks have been liberated. Here's to Sid. Andy. Running out of things to boil in the brown. Wonder if anyone would notice if I slipped a boot in. have a resilience to the ill effects of ether. But do we find it strange that there are those... Sid, did you know that chocobos are far more resilient than... Me? I reckon they built it up over generations. Good morrow to you, my friend. I do. 
don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. You wish to study the tomes?
Did you learn everything you needed? Mid said I could ride the Enterprise next. No, she didn't. She said I could. the lake. Are you even listening? Oof. Oh, what is it? Be careful out there. Have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? I've never had anything so delicious. I should be so lucky. They're all in Tet's belly before they've even had time to cool. Lady Karen's called in a favor with one of her suppliers. We should have a new shipment of sackcloth before the next moon. Not a moment too soon. and the deadlands will seem less dead. These flowers are beautiful. Do we have to boil them all down to make medicine? A trader from across the sea once told me that on the continent they play music. lost it can't be true i'm sorry but the report was clear the scouts found no survivors finished the book I was writing. You're welcome to read it. If young Jocelyn hasn't already defiled its pages with his infernal scribblings. <laughs> Miss, can we read Miss Editor's story for our lesson today? What a wonderful idea, Jocelyn. Let's do just that. or oars, but she's still the fastest ship on the sea. That's what Mid says, anyway. I would have to see it to believe it. Hmm. According to this, Barnabas Tharm is called the Last King on account of the fact he hasn't aged a day since claiming the throne. But that was almost five and thirty years ago. Ah, 
Ah, Sid. I saw Mid and the others made it back in one piece. Hmm, more or less. <laughs> Would that the free cities had fared so well. It will take years to rebuild what was lost to His Majesty's Akashic Army. hoping to see did you have a mo don't tell me you need more bomb ash oh no we still got plenty of that left i'm working on bringing another one of the chief's designs to life this time it's a new smelter it's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that that um Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A, a heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only Mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is... They're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, mind. And we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South, over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right, then. Wish me luck. Will do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Can't say I've ever been to the Silent Sound myself. Nor Advent, for that matter. I've hardly ever been out of the duchy, to tell you the truth. I did get the chance to visit Lost Plume once, though. What a piece of work that place is. Would have stuck around to study the relics more. If half of them hadn't been trying to blimmin' kill me. <laughs> How was she? Chaff when we've honest to goodness royalty right here beneath our roof. If Prince Dion cannot see my love for him, then perhaps the Phoenix will. Welcome back. 
from home, Sid. You said. I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. I would have gone to Martha's rest with Doris, but she ordered me to stay behind. And I'm not about to start disobeying orders. Not knowing. Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing at Aoife like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravost. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Here you go. Always something in there. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised. Back again? What is it that you wish to learn? I have the details here.
Here you are. The state of the realm is ever-changing. I would have gone to Martha's rest with Doris, but she... Sid made it home safely. Hmm. His brother didn't look all that well, though. I suppose you've got quite the tale to tell. But I'll let you get some nice warm stew in you first, before I go bothering you for the details. Covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. It's a wonder they can still walk. It's a wonder they made it back at all. I heard Odin was there. Place will fall apart in a fortnight. Either find me some, or I'm taking a saw to your bed. Skies? <laughs> Don't bother me. Though I reckon it'd be a different story if my skiff had wings. should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. The Guardians of the Flame were true friends to the rest. They fought our enemies, manned our barricades, joined us in our patrols. Now they're gone, I suppose it's back to double shifts. What are you after? obliged Fare thee well Just because the heavens have gone to oh, Nearly done The world seems to be changing so fast lately I can hardly keep up But what I do know is that there's more bad news than good You can tell that just by looking at people's faces I think we're all of us glad to see the bearers and the guardians find a home for themselves over in East Pool. It doesn't still hurt, does it? Oh, a thousand Akashic jaws couldn't hurt me. 
I'm a son of Rosaria, after all. A born survivor. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So... Was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid. But I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. She asked me to join her at the Baal Marches. It's a wonder she still trusts me after everything that happened. I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if Eastpool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As of those poor bearers. They've lived their whole lives in servitude, but now they're their own masters. Small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the Wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around the village of late. Sir Wade's putting a brave face on it, but I think even he's starting to worry. And if he's likely to share those concerns with anyone, it's you. All right. Thanks. Wouldn't ask if I didn't have to. There. That should be enough to keep them in Gazal Greens for a few years at least. Gazal Greens? Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. But they're hardy, they grow fast, and they fill a hole. Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And chocobos love them too, which is no small thing. When I say all of us need to pull together to get East Pool back on its feet, I mean all of us. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right, and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. And if he don't, well, I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. Get them Kazal green seeds up to Sir Wade in Eastpool, would you? Can't say it wasn't a relief to see the better part of the guard. Are the bearers taking well to their new home, Jimmy? You know? Guardian saying we're supposed to grow our own food. The victuals Martha sends us are more than enough for me. Ah, Lord Rossfield. What brings you to Eastpool? A delivery from Martha.
These are Gizal green seeds. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings, then, is she? I jest, of course. You see, I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed, only without the seeds. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these, so that they'll be able to fend for themselves. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far, subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do. It's about time we all started to provide for ourselves, bearers and Guardians alike. Unfortunately, we've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. There have been alarming reports of... The Horde is closing in. They're coming, so wait, all of them. Damn it all, I thought we'd have more time. Gather the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. The Horde. A Kashek, a veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. We don't have the numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to build a perimeter wall so that myself and the Guardians might be able to defend the village, but... Now you're out of time. Precisely. If reinforcements from the rest arrive before they do, we may just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? You mean the bearers? We brought them here so they might live, not die, fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. You're right, my lord. I will... Appeal to them. My friends, I humbly beg your aid. We Guardians are few and our enemies many. But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. You would send us to the slaughter to serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men might be spared. And to think we trusted you. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. But it is worth fighting for. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one, didn't you? This place, Eastpool. This is your village. Your home. And if you don't fight to protect what's yours, You'll lose it! You know I'm right. This world wants to take everything from you. Everything. Your homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die, having never stood up for yourselves? Or will you fight like free men and women? What? What are you doing? All right. Give me a sword. 
never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine, or die trying. We all will. Free men and women, fighting together. For Eastpool! For Eastpool! Thank you, Martha. Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how freeborn fight. <laughs> Gladly. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Thanks to you. Me? <laughs> oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. Lord Rossfield, my lady. We're ready. So what's the plan of action? We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. These will position themselves at strategic points around the village. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can, steadily retreating all the while. You're going to lure them into the village? I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. Instead, we will focus purely on defense at first. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our choosing. With luck, that point will be the village square. The perfect place for our most able warriors to surround them and fall upon them. And for you and I to finish them off. A sound plan. But one that'll require a leader with a cool head and strong nerves to coordinate the retreat. I'd say you have both in abundance await. But you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. Sir Wade! They're here! Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. That Eastpool might live on. For Rosaria. For Rosaria! We've no time to argue, my lord. I'll do as you ask. And I will do as you ask. Suppose we'd better do our bit too, then, eh? Right you are, Martha. before the storm. And here it comes.
It's over! Looks like that's the last of them. Lord Rushfield! Change of plan! What is it? Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. Well, the better half of her guard is here. So wait, how many Akashic remain in East Pool? Hard to say. My men are still facing some resistance, but I think the worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to fall back and... No. Let them finish the job. You stay here too, Sir Wade. Your men need you. I'll go after the Curl. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the Founder protect you. <laughs> 